Hi, welcome. Here we go. Now we're going to have a look at how to make questions in English. To be able to make questions, you first have to understand the word order in English sentences. You see here that I've written down it's subject, verb and object. That's the word order in English, very similar to Dutch. So you can see that the cow is the subject, eats is the verb, and grass is the object. Now you understand the word order in English, it's relatively easy to make a question. Quite simply, in a sentence that has the verb to be in it, zijn, the subject and the verb change position. You can see a few examples below. You are from the Netherlands, are you from the Netherlands, etc. If the answer to one of these questions is yes or no, just saying yes or no sounds quite English, sounds quite rude in English. So we like to add the verb as well. Instead of yes, we say yes I am. Instead of no, we say no I'm not, etc. If the sentence does not have the verb to be, zijn, in it, then you can use have got. For example, have you got a cat? Have you got a new bike? You can't say have you a cat or have you a new bike. So have you got is okay. Has your sister got is okay. You can also choose for a sentence that does not have the verb to be, zijn, you can also choose to use the verb to do, doen. If you don't want to use have got, you can say, do you have a cat? So you can choose, have you got a cat? Do you have a cat? The answer then is, have you got a cat? Yes, I have. Do you have a cat? Yes, I do. So your answer repeats the question word. So if you use do as your question word, you use do in your answer. If you use have as your question word, then you use have in your answer. Take a good look at the examples here. So if your sentence doesn't have to be in it, and it doesn't have to have in it, then you have to use the verb to do. Here are some examples with the answers. So, do you read books? Yes, I do. Do you like chocolate? No, I don't. Yes, I do. So, as I said, if to be or to have are not in the sentence, then you have to use the verb to do. I do, you do, he, she, it, does, we do, and they do. How do you make the question? You put a form of the verb to do at the start of the sentence. So here are some examples. Do we have some milk? Do you like coffee? Etc. What you notice is the form of the verb to do has been changed. So you have do you, do they, and of course does he, does she, does it. The second verb in the sentence is the whole verb, so the infinitive, to have, to like, to eat, to play, to need. So the first verb you change and the second verb you leave as the whole verb. So you'll see that it's very important to make sure that you know the three verbs to have, hebben, to be, zijn, and to do, doen. These are the three essential verbs for English.